and it's already a chilly evening across central Alabama. We've got temperatures that will fall steadily overnight in Birmingham right now reporting a temperature of 54 degrees, but I want you to focus on the treetops there. They are blowing in the wind. We've got a north wind at the moment at 10 miles per hour. At times this evening, the uh, wind's going to be gusting as high as 20, and uh, this is some very dry air in place that allows us to cool effectively. We stay breezy into the morning hours. This is where we will be when you're headed to the bus stop. So we're talking mid 30s in Coleman, upper 30s in Penson, upper 30s, low 40s in some of our northeasternmost communities. Anniston at 36, Center at 40, Tuscaloosa dropping to 43. Factor in the wind that's going to add to that chill factor. So you are going to want to bundle up if you're going to be waiting at the bus stop early tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we do warm into the 60s, but this is going to be chillier than where we were today. And it's also well below average for this time of year. Our average high is in the mid 70s, so we're more than 10 degrees below average. And I should point out we are also going to remain windy at times tomorrow. Thursday, we warm into the upper 60s. I wanted to show you what the morning looks like. It's going to be even chillier on Thursday morning because the wind is going to be calmer. Could have some patchy frost developing, especially where we've drawn the blue on the map here. Hamilton dropping to 35, Coleman, Gadsden near 34 degrees. I believe we hold just above the freezing mark, but it is going to be a very cold start on Thursday, especially just because we're not used to those types of temperatures yet. And looking at our normal first frost, anywhere from October 25th to November 10th is when we do expect to see that first frost. So coming a little bit early for some folks if we do happen to see that frost develop uh, on Thursday morning. We'll be watching for a frost advisory to be issued in the next day or so. We already have those to our north where you see the light blue color here. The darker purple, that is a freeze warning. So a very cold air mass continues to move into Alabama overnight and into tomorrow, lasting into Thursday. But after Thursday, uh, we're, our temperatures are going to be moderating, so we're looking good as we're headed towards the weekend. If this is just a little too cold for you, hang on. By Thursday, we're in the upper 60s. Friday, we're in the low 70s, and I want to quickly show you the weekend and our seven day forecast. We have no threat of rain over the next seven to 10 days. Nice and dry. Saturday and Sunday, we're in the mid 70s. Stay with us. You're watching WVTM 13 News.